guys it is getting so cold outside winter is upon us and also hunting season hunting season man this camera sucks at focusing all right so we got a smith and wesson box here like that little bit of camera work i try my best it looks a little dirty looks like i dug it up i swear to god i didn't it's been under my bed oh shit. and this camera struggling we got the 500 smith and wesson here we got a new scope it's a leupold i don't know if you can see that leupold at four by 28 millimeter got it in silver to match the gun got silver scope rings got a rail stainless steel rail top notch is a wing don't quote me on that name but i don't know if i said it right it's one of the smaller scopes that they make i haven't shot the gun with the scope on it yet that is in the near future on these little scope covers it says leopold made in the usa right there made in the usa can't beat it so if you're looking into getting this uh scope the diameter is one inch or 25 millimeter so that's what kind of rings you need to get medium rings one inch diameter rings and you'll be good i put uh some gun type thread locker on here on all the hardware for mounting the scope so it should be set up to take all the recoil that this 500 is going to be throwing at this scope the scope is shock proof fog proof and waterproof so that's a big plus out of the box it weighs seven ounces so it's really light it's not going to add on that much more weight to the gun if anything the rail is where your weight's going to be that's a heavy ass rail i'd almost go to say it's a pound that, that rail is just because it's solid to stainless i don't know if i said this but the rings are leupold so i got the full leupold set up they hooked me up son they hooked me up not for real they really didn't hook me up i had to pay for everything and uh, the scope that being said the scope was $325 if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what it retails for. That's what I got it on Amazon. You know how Amazon is. It's a hit or miss. You might get a good deal on it. You might not. Too bad it wasn't stainless, you know. It's an aluminum tube that's silver, so it's not going to match the stainless to a T. It's going to be a little off. At least the rings match the scope. That's nice. This red is going to get black rings. That suck. The insulation for the rail was real easy. You just take the factory iron sights off and under there is going to be your set screws that are already drilled for you all the magnums the big magnum revolvers from smith and wesson are already pre-drilled and ready to go for you so you ain't got to worry about that rings actually come with a little allen wrench so you ain't got to worry about having a tool for the rings it already comes with one the allen screw set up for the rings are metric the allen setup for the rail is standard just letting you know that before you have to go through the pain that i had to go through to get a standard set little did i know i did not have a standard set in my toolbox oh yeah by the way i noticed this uh plus and minus here the eye relief for this scope is 18 inches you got a good amount of eye relief there you can unscrew this right here see you can unscrew this right here make it you know come out a little bit further or go in and uh better your eye relief if you have to oh yeah by the way as you uh, can tell i had to modify my case for this massive setup but it worked i don't know why i did that that was a fuck up it truly was a fuck up but everything else worked out good so you guys leave a like subscribe i'm gonna try to get a video up of uh, me sighting this gun in i don't know when could be this week could be next week i'm not sure yet so yeah guys leave a like subscribe leave comments below i love feedback and i'll see you later peace